Hey guys, uh, Greg Harbour here from Strength Box. You know, we're doing a retreat or two this year in Greece, and I hope to do one next year as well. And uh, I love Greek food and uh, Greek cooking, and actually, you know, a lot of it based on the Mediterranean diet is uh, pretty healthy. It's uh, full of lots of greens and uh, tons of vegetables, lots of olive oil. It's good stuff. Some of the things are a bit starchy. They eat a lot of uh, legumes and grains, especially around fasting time. What I want to do today is I'm going to show you a very traditional, uh, it's a dip actually, it's called skordalia. Skordalia, you'll know it if you eat it, because uh, <laughs> it contains a whole lot of this stuff here, garlic. Um, it's basically a garlic dip, so there's like eight cloves when you make the, the dip. And for a base, Traditionally, they'll use white bread, which they soak in water, and then they uh, wring it out. They use stale bread, and that becomes a base. Or they can use uh, like boiled mashed potatoes um, as a base, which is a little better. Um, I'm going to change it slightly without affecting the flavor. So for my base, I'm going to use cauliflower. So um, I thought, why not steam cauliflower, mash it up, and use that as a base, because it's very, very mild, and uh, the garlic is really what you taste. So I'm gonna start this really easy. I'm just gonna get, oh, and these things are great, by the way. I bought this in um, Chinatown in Toronto for $4.99. It's a bamboo steamer, and I like it, because you can steam fish, vegetables, all kinds of things. And I'm just gonna cover it, and uh, that's probably going to take about 20 minutes. I want it good and soft, and then I'm going to run it through the food processor with a little bit of olive oil. All right? So, um, yeah, I'll see you in 20. Okay, cauliflower is done, and so I'm going to take it, and uh, it's cooled a little bit, so I can put it in the food processor. I may run this in two batches because I don't want to overfill it. And I'm going to stick it in there with just a little bit of olive oil and process it. Um, and uh, just a touch more olive oil. Give it one more pulse or two. That should be good to go. Peel about eight or 10 uh, garlic cloves. I'm actually using the whole head here. And I do that just by smashing with a knife. And when you do that, the peel should remove very, very easily, just like that. I'm gonna take all this garlic, shove it in the food processor. And here I've got about, uh, probably about a cup and a half of chopped walnuts. And I'm gonna add um, probably about a teaspoon of salt. This is coarse sea salt I'm adding here. And what I wanna do is uh, grind this into a paste. And traditionally, scordalia is not made with nuts, but in Ipido, which is in Northwestern Greece, they like to add walnuts, and they do that in some of the, the Northwestern islands. But the common version that you'll find in the tavernas and everything is just, it's just plain, there's no nuts in it. I like this version. I think it has a really nice and unique taste. I think you should try it. So grind this into a paste. So that's probably what we're looking for right there. Don't want it too fine. You don't want it to turn into uh, a nut butter. That's good. Okay, next I need to juice some lemons. I'm gonna do two or three lemons here in this handy dandy juicer just to separate some of the pips. Try and leave these pips behind. Okay, so I've got my uh, um, cauliflower mixture again, and all I'm gonna do is mix in a little bit of this uh, walnut paste, and as I do it, I'm gonna add uh, olive oil. Don't skimp on olive oil, use good quality. This is, uh, this is from Greece, this one is from Crete. It's an extra virgin, of course. And I'm gonna stir this in. Don't use a food processor for this step because it's gonna come out like glue, okay? And it's gonna be quite oily, that's how you want it. And I'm gonna throw in some lemon juice here too. I'm gonna throw in some more salt. Mix this up. Put in more of this. Okay, when I serve this, I'm gonna drizzle more olive oil on top. One more thing, I know this has a lemon juice in it, but I like to add just a little bit, probably a, about a one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar or a good white wine vinegar you can also use. Um, that's just gonna give it a little extra zing. So garlic dip or scordalia is typically uh, 
you know, you can serve it on its own, I suppose, with like vegetable crudités or uh, like raw vegetables. Um, but traditionally it's served with fried fish uh, or sauteed uh, grilled fish, like um, especially salt cod, they like that. Um, another thing you can serve it with are roasted beets. And it's good with um, like fried zucchini and eggplant. That's also very traditional. Now in Greece, they'll dust the, the eggplant or the zucchini with a little bit of white flour before they fry it in olive oil. Um, and while it's not traditional, you could use coconut flour. If just a very, very light dusting would do the same thing. It won't really affect the flavor that much. You can never have too much olive oil. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on top. Scordalia garlic dip with walnuts from Iperos. Really nice stuff. Enjoy guys.